Hi friends! Today is going to be my September TBR takedown. I'm sure you're smart enough to figure out that this is November and obviously this didn't get done in October so we're just gonna do it now. Also we're going to ignore how my hair looks and because I just let it dry naturally today and we're also going to ignore my background because I'm currently redoing all of my shelves. So it's a bit messy, just a tish. Also uh, we're going to ignore the camera angle because I just got this new chair it's a lot lower than what I had expected it to be and uh, while it is the most comfortable chair I have ever sat at at this desk I'm still trying to figure out camera angles so just just ignore everything other than the books basically is where I'm going with that okay so in the month of September we started with a grand total of 88 books which is the most glorious number I've ever seen I think in July, we were at a high of 120. We're currently at 88. I'm having the best time. Um, if you see me looking over here, that's because my computer screen's over here. If you see me looking over here, it's because the books are over here. Okay, uh, so the first book that I read was A Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. I ended up giving this a four out of five stars. It was an arc that I had. It is by Sangu Mandana probably not saying that correctly. Um, I tried to look for a pronunciation and was unsuccessful because I only read a couple of books in the month of September. Uh, we're going to treat this as a, a wrap up as well. Uh, so A Very Secret Society of Regular Witches is about a girl who is a witch and in the world that we're in they think that it is bad for multiple witches to live in one place and that if you have a bunch of witches living together, it creates more chaos, it creates more wild magic, and therefore the regular human society can find out about the witches, and when that's happened in the past, it's not been good. So she meets with this group of witches. They meet, I think, every other month or every three months. I don't know what the time frame is, but essentially they meet every so often and they are not allowed to talk at all outside of this meeting. So they have to be completely apart from each other. When they're at that meeting, they decide where they're going to meet for the next meeting and when it will be. And that is the only contact that any of them have with each other. Um, and it's basically just like a how's life going? Have you learned anything new? What's going on in the world? Also in this world, when a witch is born, immediately following the witch being born, their parents die. And so um, most witches don't have children and most children who are witches are raised by other family members and um, anybody can be born a witch. There's no like rules or regulations. It's interesting. So the world building was very good. But in the book, essentially, this girl who's a witch, she pretends to be a witch on video and someone who runs... Um, this house that is like a safe house for three young witches, which is unheard of for three young witches to be in one household. They see her and they're like, this lady is clearly an actual witch. And therefore, we want to take her, ask her to come here and help us to train these young witches. And so she gets there, which is against all of the rules that she's been taught her whole life. Uh, and basically, there's like a romance and there's like some found family aspects that the people who live there are very interesting. And there's, you know, a big bad at the end. And there's this whole thing. It was very, very interesting to read. I did enjoy it very much. Again, I gave it a four out of five stars. Um, I think it was a really fun book. And I think if like, I've been picking up a lot of witchy books this year um, and last year as well. And I think it's one of my favorites that I've read that was like, not like a rom-com. It was more just straight fiction, but with witches in it. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Okay. Speaking of witchy rom-coms, I then hauled a book that I haven't read yet because I'm a terrible human being. And that is The Kiss Curse by Erin Sterling. I read the first book to this, The X-Hex, last year and loved it. And so I need to read this book because it follows 
I believe the cousin of the main character in the first book and I'm super excited but I haven't picked it up yet. Why? I don't know. I haven't been in a very rom com -y mood. Also I died last month so there's that. Um, I did read a lot of books last month even though I did have like two weeks where I was essentially just dead to the whole world. Um, but this was didn't make it on the list. So I'm gonna try to read this one this month. But the first book is called The X Hex. And it is about a girl who when she was younger, uh, found out that her boyfriend was actually engaged to someone else um, by like through his family, not necessarily that he wanted to be engaged, but you know, that's life. And so she broke up with him. And then she like fake cursed him for like all of these really funny curse things. Except he left for a decade and then came back. And when he came back to that town, the curse took place, like the curse happened. So all the things that like she had cursed him with didn't actually happen while he's gone. But when he came back, then the curse thing started happening. And then it's like, um, them kind of maybe getting back together and like solving the world's problems. And it was very cute and very funny and very rom com -y. And so I'm hoping that this one is good as well. Honestly, one of my favorite things about these books is just the chapter titles it's a kitty cat and it looks just like the kitty cat on my shelf for my logo. I love it. Super cute. I then DNF'd several arcs which we will be talking about in an upcoming arc DNF video. So I'm just gonna tell you what they were and how far I read um, and maybe a little bit of thought but not a whole lot. Long story short I DNF'd at 10%. Uh, fake it till you bake it I DNF'd at I don't know percent. <laughs> Bet on it I DNF'd at 10%. Um, not exactly what I had in mind. I DNF'd at 10% and then skim read through some of the ending. Love on the Brain, I DNF'd at 25%. Basically, uh, if you know that like I loved the love hypothesis and so I DNF'd Love on the Brain because it was basically just the same bitch but in a different font. It was the same story and with just different names. And I have other issues with it as well. But again, that will be in the upcoming DNF edition of the ARCs. Yes. And then our final book we're going to talk about today. Again, I told you today was going to be short. I read a book from my shelves. Imagine that, an actual book from my shelves. A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor by Hank Green. This is the second book in the Carl's series. I gave this a 4.25 out of 5 stars. I actually really liked this book better than the first book. I thought the pacing and the like my enjoyment level was a lot higher. Um, I liked the characters better in this book and I felt like there was a lot of really good character growth and um, I really liked both in the first book and in this book um, Hank's interpretation of society as a whole and just like through the Carl's what we were able to learn about our society, even though this is fictional. Um, I think that some of his introspection and observations of human society was really well done in this. And I think, um, especially because we are such like a social society, here we are on YouTube. Um, I think there's some really good points in here. So if you are like, I would say 40 and under, um, I think this may like, give you some really good insights to um, social media and content and things like that. It was a very, very good duology. I did really enjoy it. Again, the first book I didn't love as much, um, but I had so many friends who really loved the series that I was like, I definitely want to continue on um, because it ended on a cliffhanger and it was interesting. And this book definitely delivered for me. That's it. That's my sad, pathetic. I read two books. I hauled one book. Uh, we ended the month at 88. <laughs> like we didn't go anywhere put one on the shelf, took one off the shelf. Here we are at 88 again. So that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye! Oh,